about uh, the impact this action due to full class medical arrest and logistical aggression. Uh, uh, our main purpose is to try to uh, analyze the association between gene structure and the uh, disease status. Uh, if we can find the association, we can develop some drugs uh, towards this target genes, uh, which has uh, improved treatment. So, I, uh, firstly, I want to introduce you just, uh, something about uh, biology. The first uh, term is about the SNPs, uh, which are signal nucleotide uh, polymorphisms. It's a most common variation in the, in, among human genes. Uh, with statistician, we try to analyze the data. Firstly, we, we need to have better understanding of the structure of data. So I want to introduce something about the uh, uh, gene structure. Uh, gene structure has two levels. The first level is between uh, SNPs and uh, genes. In this level, each SNPs can only be mapped to one gene, uh, which means no overlap in this level. The second level is between genes and SNPs. Uh, in this level, each genes can be mapped to more than one SNPs, which means uh, there are some overlap happens in this, in this level. Uh, if there are over, uh, overlap happens in this level, which means the data are highly correlated and highly, highly overlapped. So we need to use a different method to analyze this kind of structure. Our method is about a uh, sparse group lasso. Uh, to analyze this kind of data. The sparse group lasso uh, has, two, uh, has two level of sparsity. First, uh, uh, the first level is, is towards SNPs and genes. The second level is towards genes and uh, pathways. We try to select a few a unique set of pathways to have a, uh, which has a higher association between uh, disease status and the genes. Uh, now let's see the results. Uh, the first method we use to choose the uh, unknown parameter is a very classic method, which is named cross-validation. Uh, it's a classic uh, method from the computer science. However, in this method, we, uh, we, we use a misclassification rate to evaluate this method. The, the minimum rate is 30%, uh, around 30%, which, uh, which says that this method is not suitable for this kind of data. Uh, data. So we try to use another uh, another way to select a proper uh, unknown parameter. Uh, our way is a st stability selection. From, uh, from this uh, two rows, we can see that if we, we permute the other data, uh, which means we broke the, uh, the relationship between the other uh, pathways and we just keep the three pathways relationships. So the other pathways data will be noise. Uh, from the, uh, this plot, we can see that if we want to select, uh, select all these three target pathways, we have to select a lot of noise variables. While in this uh, stability selection plot, we can see the first three uh, pathways being selected is our target pathways, which means uh, our, our method uh, can free off the noise variables effect. So we do the nail test, which uh, at first we say the nail test uh, is not appears like uniformly distributed, which means there are some kind of ba uh, bands in our and uh, analyze. So we try to uh, re uh, re reduce that kind of bands. Uh, so uh, the, our way to reduce that kind of bands is to try to adjust the weight of pathways. This plot is a result of after we adjust this weight. It seems more uniformly than before, which means when we do the nail test, each pathway has an equal likely uh, be trust. Uh, which, uh, this plot is, uh, is a plot after we, uh, we, we use a new way to, to, uh, to select the, the pathways. And we also rank these pathways in this plot. Just shows that uh, which uh, we select two genes, which uh, is SLC six A three and uh, SLC six A one one. These two 
which is uh, demonstrate has a high correlation with uh, alcoholism. Uh, we demonstrate that 2009, which, uh, which is that our uh, analyzed uh, confirm this result. If we have better, uh, a bigger data set, we can have a better analysis uh, of this data set. So that's all. Thank you.